Hello, this is part one of our comparative Bible study on the beginning of Jesus' Galilean ministry. During this Bible study, we would like to talk about Jesus' return to Nazareth. Overall, this is our 41st New Testament Bible study. At the end of the last Bible study series, Jesus, transiting through the region of Samaria, stopped at a well near a city named Sychar and shared the truth with a woman of Samaria. And she went and got people from the city and they came out and Jesus shared the truth with them also and many believed on him. Jesus was transiting through Samaria on his way to Galilee. We ended the last Bible study in that series on John chapter 4 verse 43 which reads, Now after two days he departed thence and went into Galilee. Now the very next verse, verse 44, might appear to be a little bit out of place or possibly even intentionally ambiguous. There we read, For Jesus himself testified that a prophet hath no honor in his own country. I don't always consult commentaries, but they can be very handy when you're stumped. When I consulted the commentaries on this verse, it appears that there's been a lot of discussion on what this verse means. One, the way that it's worded, and also what is meant by his own country. When I say that it might appear at first to be out of place, because when you look at the next verse, picking up in verse 45, there we read, Then, when he was come into Galilee, the Galileans received him having seen all the things that he did at Jerusalem at the feast. For they also went unto the feast. So Jesus came again into Cana of Galilee, where he made the water wine. The three main regions mentioned in the Bible in the land of Israel during Jesus' day are Judah or Judea in the south, Samaria to the north of that, and the region of Galilee to the north of Samaria. As we've discussed and read in previous Bible studies, Nazareth is a city of Galilee. Jesus was brought up in Nazareth. If own country here meant the entire region of Galilee, would that harmonize with the next verse, which says the Galileans received him? Because up here, Jesus stated that a prophet hath no honor in his own country. On the other hand, if we read verses 43 and 44 together, it appears that Jesus is leaving his own country. But we know that Jesus had just left Samaria, and Jesus was not a Samaritan. Not to mention a lot of the Samaritans did believe on Jesus. Could his own country be the region of Judea or Judah, where Jesus had just attended the Passover and conducted miracles? As we have also discussed in previous Bible studies, Jesus, according to the flesh, was a Jew of the tribe of Judah, actually born in the bloodline of King David. Being a descendant of King David, According to the flesh, Jesus was also born in Bethlehem, a city in Judah or Judea. So there are those three options. Judah or Judea, where Jesus' ancestors, according to the flesh, were from. Samaria, based on the context. And Galilee, where Jesus was brought up. However, a number of the commentaries concluded that own country here should be looked at as Nazareth apart from the other cities of Galilee. Looking at other passages in the other Gospels which use similar language, this appears to make good sense. For example, in Matthew chapter 13 we read, and it came to pass that when Jesus had finished these parables, he departed thence. And when he was come into his own country, he taught them in their synagogue, insomuch that they were astonished, 
and said, Whence hath this man this wisdom and these mighty works? Is not this the carpenter's son? Is not his mother called Mary, and his brethren James and Joseph, and Simon and Judas, and his sisters? Are they not all with us? Whence then hath this man all these things? And they were offended in him. But Jesus said unto them, A prophet is not without honor, save in his own country, and in his own house. And he did not many mighty works there because of their unbelief. This appears to be much later in Jesus' earthly ministry. This is chapter 13 in our current Bible study series. We're only on Matthew chapter 4. There's a similar passage in Mark chapter 6. There we read, And he went out from thence and came into his own country. And his disciples follow him. And when the Sabbath day was come, he began to teach in the synagogue. And many hearing him were astonished, saying, From whence hath this man these things? And what wisdom is this which is given unto him, that even such mighty works are wrought by his hands? Is not this the carpenter, the son of Mary, the brother of James and Joseph, and of Judah and Simon? And are not his sisters here with us? And they were offended at him. But Jesus said unto them, A prophet is not without honor, but in his own country, and among his own kin, and in his own house. And he could there do no mighty work, save that he laid his hands upon a few sick folk and healed them. And he marveled because of their unbelief, and he went round about the villages teaching. Again, this appears to be much later in Jesus' Galilean ministry. Here we are in Mark chapter 6. In our current Bible study, we're only on Mark chapter 1. But in both Matthew chapter 13 and Mark chapter 6 here, you have people who know a lot of details about Jesus. And Jesus makes this comment that a prophet is not without honor but in his own country. S similar language also regarding own country as in our current Bible study in John chapter 4. Although Matthew 13 and Mark 6 here appear to be much later in Jesus' Galilean ministry, looking at these two examples in the Gospels of Matthew and Mark, it does appear that the phrase own country in John chapter 4 could very well be Nazareth apart from the other cities of Galilee. One thing, however, that I was surprised about was that some of the commentaries indicated that this verse 44 in John chapter 4 was proof that Jesus did not go to Nazareth after returning from Samaria. Comparing the Gospel of John to a couple of the other Gospels, it appeared to be the opposite to me. For example, Matthew chapter 4 states, now when Jesus had heard that John was cast into prison, he departed into Galilee and leaving Nazareth. It appears he had to have been in Nazareth to leave Nazareth. Furthermore, Luke chapter 4 states, And Jesus returned in the power of the Spirit into Galilee, and there went out a fame of him through all the region round about. And he taught in their synagogues, being glorified of all, and he came to Nazareth, where he had been brought up. Here once again we're told that Jesus came to Nazareth after entering into Galilee. In New Testament Bible Study 26, we discussed how Matthew 4.12 and Luke 4.14, both mentioned here, followed immediately after the discussion on the devil trying to tempt Jesus in the wilderness. So both these verses appear to be very early in Jesus' Galilean ministry. So to me, both the Gospels of Luke and Matthew seem to indicate that Jesus had went to Nazareth upon returning to Galilee. So maybe this verse in John chapter 4 is also indicating that Jesus went to Nazareth when he went to Galilee. If John 4.44 does represent an early trip to Nazareth, it seems to me it would match up well with these two other Gospels. 
Thank you for your time. If I'm blessed with sharing anything good, it's a gift from God. Lord willing, maybe we'll have another Bible study in the future. Goodbye.